Coming to a Halt, Why It Matters More on Two Wheels, written by Guy Martin from Speed with Guy Martin. Let's talk about stopping. Sounds simple, doesn't it? But on a bike, it's about staying upright, staying safe, no metal cage around you. It's just you, the bike, and your skills. Knowing how to stop properly separates a good rider from a bad one. Get it wrong, and it's more than just a few scrapes. It's about control, confidence, staying rubber side down. Your bike's lifeline, understanding the brakes. Now before we get into the nitty gritty of stopping, let's talk about your brakes. They're your best mates on the road, your lifeline when things get hairy. Most bikes these days have disc brakes, some have drums, but the principles are the same. Squeeze the liver, the pads, grip the disc or drum, and the bike slows down. Your front brake is your main man, providing about 70% of your stopping power. The back brake? It's there to help, to stabilize, but use it too much on its own and you risk locking up the rear wheel. Not good. Get to know your brakes. Feel how they respond. How much pressure it takes to get the bike slowing down smoothly. A little bit of familiarity goes a long way when you need to stop in a hurry. Remember your brakes are your friends. Treat them right. Keep them maintained and they'll look after you when you need them most. Smooth operator. Mastering the art of the stop. Right, let's talk about stopping smoothly. This is about looking like you know what you're doing. About being in control. First things first, engine braking. As you slow down, downshift through the gears. This not only helps slow the bike, but it also keeps the engine ready if you need to accelerate again. As you're slowing down, use both brakes. But remember, the front brake is king. Apply it progressively, squeezing the lever, not grabbing it. You want to feel the bike slowing down smoothly, not pitching forward. At the same time, use the rear brake gently. It's there to help stabilize the bike, especially at lower speeds. Just don't rely on it too heavily, especially on corners, or you risk locking up the rear wheel. And here's a top tip. As you come to a complete stop, keep a little pressure on the front brake. This will help keep the bike stable and stop it from rolling. Easy, right? Slamming the anchors, emergency stops. Okay, now for the hairy stuff, emergency stops. When something unexpected happens, you need to stop. Like right now, it might be a car pulling out, a dog running into the road, or a patch of oil you didn't see. First rule of emergency, stops. Don't panic, squeeze that front brake Lever hard, but don't grab it. Use the rear brake, too, but be careful. And remember, keep your eyes on where you want to go. Steer the bike where you want it to go. Right, let's have a chin wag about some common braking mistakes. Even experienced riders can get caught out, so pay attention. First up, grabbing the front brake. This is a big no-no. Grab the lever too hard and you risk locking up the front wheel, sending you over the handlebars. Not the kind of flying lesson you want. Next, overusing the rear brake. Remember, the front brake is your main stopping power. Too much rear brake, especially in a corner, can lead to a skid. Use it gently to help stabilize the bike. Another common mistake is not using engine braking. Downshifting as you slow down 
not only helps to slow the bike, but it also keeps the engine in the right gear if you need to accelerate again. And lastly, target fixation. In an emergency, it's natural to stare at the obstacle you're trying to avoid. But remember, your bike goes where your eyes go. Focus on the escape route and steer the bike where you want it to go. Practice makes perfect. Honing your stopping skills. Listen, stopping a motorcycle safely isn't something you master overnight. It takes practice, practice, practice. Find a quiet car park or an empty road and practice your braking. Start slowly, get a feel for how the brakes respond and gradually increase your speed and braking force. Practice emergency stops too. Get used to squeezing that front brake hard, finding that sweet spot just before the wheel locks up. It'll become second nature. And when you really need it, you'll be glad you put in the practice. And don't be afraid to take a riding course. They're a great way to improve your skills, learn new techniques, and get personalized feedback from experienced riders. Remember, the more you practice, the more confident and in control you'll be on the road. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? A word on surfaces, adapting to the road. Now let's talk about different road surfaces. Stopping on a dry, clean tarmac is one thing, but throw in some rain, gravel, or even leaves, and it's a whole different ball game. When it's wet, your braking distances increase. That's just physics. So slow down, increase your following distance, and be extra careful with your braking. Smoothness is key. Gravel, sand, and other loose surfaces are even trickier. They reduce your grip, making it easier to lose control. If you have to brake hard on these surfaces, be prepared for the bike to move around a bit. Keep a firm grip on the handlebars. Ease off the brakes if you feel the wheels locking up and try to steer through the hazard. And watch out for those painted lines. They can be slippery when wet, especially white lines. Try to avoid braking hard on them, especially if you're leaning into a corner. Beyond the brakes gear up for safety all right lads and lasses let's talk about gear I know I know it's not as exciting as talking about bikes and speed but trust me on this one the right gear can be the difference between walking away from a spill and a trip to the hospital first and foremost a good helmet your brain bucket is your best friend make sure it fits properly meet safety standards, and you wear it every single time you ride. No excuses. Next up, a riding jacket. Leather or textile, doesn't matter, as long as it offers protection. Look for jackets with armor in the shoulders, elbows, and back. And don't forget gloves. Your hands are the first thing to hit the ground in a fall, so protect them. Boots that cover your ankles are a must. And if you're serious about riding, invest in some riding pants with knee protection. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ride smart, stop smarter, your two-wheel journey. So there you have it, a good look at stopping safely on two wheels. Remember, being able to stop smoothly and quickly is just as important as going fast. It's about staying in control, avoiding danger, and coming home safe every ride. Keep practicing those braking techniques. Get to know your bike inside out and adapt your riding to the conditions. And don't forget, gear up. A helmet, jacket, gloves, boots, they're not just accessories. They're your safety 
net. Now, go out there, enjoy the ride, and stay safe. And if you've got any tips or questions, share them in the comments below. Let's help each other become better, safer riders. Cheers.